there are plenty of victims in South Armagh. This part of Northern Ireland was badly hit by the Troubles, with several hundred losing their lives because of terrorism over the last 30 years. In a sparsely populated rural area, by anybody's reckoning, this statistic is staggering. The organisation FAIR, Families Acting for Innocent Relatives, knows only too well the hurt and suffering this community has had to bear. Based in Market Hill, FAIR works with the injured and bereaved family members. But the emotional and physical pain of the victims and their loved ones goes on. The work of FAIR over the past 10 years has helped the victims cope. In a world they feel has turned its back on them, FAIR offers a lifeline. Non-sectarian, non-political, FAIR works in the interests of the innocent victims in South Armagh. The headquarters at Market Hill are busy with coffee mornings, lunch meetings, musical evenings. Sharing time with like-minded folk can be very therapeutic. Workshops help those on the benefit cycle to get back into the world of work. Above all, FAIR provides a listening ear and a campaigning, vibrant voice for the victims. Headed up by Willie Fraser, who lost his own father to terrorists, he understands from personal experience the loss is as keenly felt by the next generation. I asked my dad how he was killed. Um, two men jumped uh, from a bush while he was reversing one night and killed him in his car. It makes me feel sad that I didn't know him. It's, he sounds like a great man to know. It's a shame that I didn't see get to know him. But more than anything, FAIR gives the victims in South Armagh a voice and with it sanctuary and hope. The FAIR group offers us victims a vehicle under the one umbrella group to try and move on. The legacy of the past has to be addressed but we can't move on unless we have the resources. The FAIR group has offered us all that a spirit to try uh, to come to terms with what has happened. When you go up there, everybody's in the same boat. You can uh, talk to them and you know that you're in a safer environment. You know what you want to say, you can say it. He's straight to the point. A lot of the politicians don't like it. But what you see is what you get. And with Willie, it's very much the same. Willie, he does everything possible by the victims. He is a great man now, and only for Willie, I would give nowhere. The government hasn't done very much for the victims. The victims are still uh, being made victims. Being made victims, they were once, and now what, the, what our politicians are doing, they're making them victims again. A, a message to the government is, don't be so callous, because I, I firmly believe that government know that within the next 10 years the victim's issue will cease to be an embarrassment to them. They won't have to put money into that side. They'll be able to move on and the victims and those people who have cared for them will have been forgotten about. You've just watched the film of the heartache of what people have lived with for this last 35 years. You've seen how they've dealt with things daily, early. Uh, we want or we need the resources to help these people move on. And all we're saying to you is, don't play political football with us. Give us the resources to help the victims, the people who have no legs, the people who have no loved ones sitting at the table, the people who daily wake up with the thought of what happened 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 30 years ago. Give us the resources to help them to move on.